Opening story, San Francisco police are stepping up patrols at a popular tourist spot. And it comes after a 71-year-old man was fatally shot. KPI X5's Susie Steimel is live at Twin Peaks with more on the crime and the added security there. Susie? Well, Ken, since we got here this afternoon, we saw three separate San Francisco police vehicles patrolling this area, as well as a couple of park rangers. And if you're familiar with Twin Peaks, you know that's not normal patrolling activity. When Ed French was here Sunday morning, he was doing what most people come to Twin Peaks to do, and that's enjoy the view and take some pictures. The concern is that his camera may have made him a target. When it's someone that you know, it just really... Hits home. Susanna Greason Robbins described 71 year old Ed French as a witty, artistic soul she'll dearly miss. Ed was a commercial location scout with close ties to the film community. He lost his life Sunday morning up on Twin Peaks. He was alone when police say two young people robbed him of his camera and shot him to death. The view up there is so amazing, and that time of morning would have been a beautiful time to be up there. Signs around the tourist location indicate theft here is common. Police have added 24 7 security as they investigate French's death. There is an uptick in uh, crime up there. Uh, there's about 254 incidents that we have uh, to this date. And for 2017, 97% of those crimes are car break ins, but two tourists were murdered here on Valentine's Day of last year, and multiple others have reported being robbed at gunpoint. Uh, the, this level of violence is, is rare for that area, and it's uh, the car break ins that we have been primarily focused on, but uh, obviously, the uh, an incident like this takes uh, our attention. Susanna says this story has shaken her sense of security. She and her coworkers are often alone on shoots at dawn and dusk around the Bay Area. Now she's thinking twice about where she'll feel safe. And I think now I would be much more careful. Police tell us they will keep those 24 7 patrols in place for the foreseeable future. They're also taking a look at some surveillance video collected nearby, hoping that leads to more information on those two suspects. Live at Twin Peaks, Susie Steimel, KPIX 5.